Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mods for Minecraft quickly and easily. Before we get started, all the links you're going to be needing in this video are in the description down below. With that being said, let's head on over to Curse Forge where we'll download and install Curse Forge for our respective OS. Currently, I'm running on Windows, so we're just going to go ahead and click on the download for Windows button. If you're running on Mac OS, the installation process is going to be very similar. Once you click the download button, you'll be prompted with this window asking where you would like to save the file. We're just going to go ahead and save it in our downloads folder and click save. Once CurseForge is installed, you're just going to go ahead and double click on it to launch CurseForge. It may ask you to allow access to this program. You're just going to go ahead and click yes and continue with the installation process. You know CurseForge finished installing when you've been prompted with this page. You can just go ahead and exit out of this. You're going to wait a few seconds and CurseForge should automatically launch. If CurseForge does not launch, you can just go ahead and head on over to the bottom left corner and click the search button and type in CurseForge and it should be there. You can just go ahead and double click it here and it should open up. We're just going to go ahead and click skip intro. There's not much information in there for us. And we're just going to go ahead and click on the Minecraft profile. Once this loads up, you'll see that you don't have any profiles. We're just going to go ahead and create a custom profile by clicking the button in the top right. It's going to prompt you with this page. We're just going to go ahead and create a name for it. I'm just going to call this Minecraft 1.18 as that's the version we're going to be running it. You can choose any Minecraft version you'd like to have versions all the way down to 1.1. I'm just going to choose 1.18 for now. And mod loader, unless you know what you're doing with Forge or Fabric, you shouldn't mess with this. Most mods run on Forge. Fabric's a bit different than Forge, but if you don't know what you're doing, I suggest not messing around with that. We're just going to keep Forge selected. And the version for Forge, it's automatically going to select the best version. So we're going to leave it as is. And we're going to click create profile and this is going to take a few seconds and it's going to create our profile for us once the profile has been created you're just going to go ahead and want to click on it you're not going to click play you're just going to click on the profile and it's going to bring you over here now in order to get mods you're just going to go ahead and look for the add more content button in the right side over here and we're going to go ahead and click that once you click that you're going to be prompted with this page where it has mods resource packs and maps we're just going to go ahead and head on over to mods for now and install a few mods. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and install just enough items, mouse tweaks, journey maps, clumps, and waystones. Once those are all installed, you'll know they're installed when it says installed in the corner up here on all the mods. As you can see, it says installed. We can just go ahead and click on Minecraft up here and click on our profile again and it's going to show us all of these mods that we just installed. Now you may notice that there's a few things we did not install like this over here. This is a dependency for waystones. So the cool thing about Forge is it automatically installs any other mods or dependencies that some mods need without you having to go through the process of doing that. It is a pretty lengthy and annoying process and with Curse Forge, it will take care of all that so you don't need to do that. Once you're done with this, you can just go ahead and click on play and play Minecraft as normal with the mods you just installed. If you'd like to create a server, you can go ahead and click on the three dots over here open the folder and give it a few months open up and all of your mods will be over here you can just go ahead and copy all these mods and drag it on to your server and everyone on the server will have the mods but they'll also need to either install curse force or somehow get all the mods that you have so they can join the server and that's pretty much it for this video if you like the video go ahead and click the thumbs up button if you like a more in-depth tutorial on this because this was a vague tutorial I can go ahead and make that. Um, there are a few steps I did skip over which should be pretty self-explanatory. But if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. 